Hi everyone, we're now on to part 3. With the Izanami forge being found on Nessus and obtaining the spiteful fang bow, we have another forge, another symbol revealing weapon, and another glyph puzzle to solve. The French puzzle which grants us with the emblem Mayrin's vision. Let's see how Raid Secrets solved it. I find this final glyph puzzle to be the most elegantly made of the three. It all stems from this group of symbols and texts right here found with Spiteful Fang. The French reads, To a couronner des rois et apporter sang et joie pour cumuler des roues de baserie. Translating the French gives us the following message. You crowned kings and brought blood and joy to collect the Basri's wheels. Basri's was a French cryptologist responsible for creating the Basri's cipher, which involves rotating wheels, much like a slot machine or a combination lot, with different dials to encode a hidden message. As for the crowning kings part of the message, it's referring to Charlemagne, and more importantly, his personal sword, Joyeuse. That's where the Roman numerals above come in. On the sword scabbard, there happen to be gemstones in a similar formation to the numerals on the wall from 1 to 8. Linking the gemstone's colour and shape to a number, we now have a goal. There are 8 Basri's wheels to be collected, and represented by them are 8 gems scattered around the three forges. Gem 1 is a round clear gemstone found in the right island of the Izanami forge. Looking at this one with the bow will reveal a sequence of 9 symbols which I will leave unnamed for reasons explained later in the video. We have our first wheel, and can slot it into our cipher. Gem 2 can also be found here just to the left of the forge. It shows the gem itself, a fleur de lis connected to a key, and a bit of encrypted text. A bit of experimentation led to the finding that this is a Vaginaire cipher. This one involves taking the text and a keyword which is repeated as many times as needed to assign a letter from the keyword to the message. The assigned letters are then converted into numbers, A being 0 through to Z being 25. The letter in the message is cycled through the alphabet by the number assigned to it to reach a new letter. There's also a table you can use to see which letter encrypts to what depending on which letter is assigned to it. Doing this to the whole text with the keyword being fleur de lis, or one word, gives the following. Vent, papillon, matin, ale, coeur, bois, eau, rose, missive. We translate these to get another sequence of the nine symbols we found earlier, now with the names wind, butterfly, morning, wings, heart, wood, water, rose, missive. The, the piece of paper. Gem 3 is a blue circular gem also found in the Izanami forge on the side of one of the islands. It's accompanied by a caterpillar with the initials VH. A bit of digging leads you to the poem known as The Genesis of the Butterflies by French poet and novelist Victor Hugo. Over the course of the poem you will find the exact same nine words in another sequence dotted around. This gives us the third wheel. Gem 4 is found in the Volunda Forge twice, on this rock right here, and on this screen across the way. Interacting with the screen and running to the other location reveals the fourth sequence for a short time. Gem 5 is an interesting one. It's found in this shipment container in the Gafanon Forge, accompanied by 9 diamonds flashing in a circular pattern like a clock. The 9 symbols can be found around the area also with a flashing diamond of their own, which lights up at the same time as one of the diamonds on the clock. The sequence is the symbols placed in chronological order.
Gem 6 is found on the side of this broken bridge in the Volunda Forge. Alongside it is a trio of epes, swords known for fencing. On the other side of the bridge are the symbols in sequence. This one took a long while to crack since the sequence seemed like it was given to us right from the start, but it was found that the symbols had to be rearranged by another rail fence cipher with an offset of 3. Gem 7 is in the Gafanon Forge up here alongside a treble clef, some zeds, and a question mark, implying a lullaby. Around the forge are 14 musical notes, some are numbered for ordering repeated notes, and some are paired with one of the 9 symbols. The song was revealed to be the famous French lullaby Frère Jacques. Placing the notes in the correct order gave us the 7th Basri's wheel. Gem 8 is a bit of a doozy. The gem was found in the Izanami forge alongside a dinner plate. The 9 symbols are all around the forge each with their own article of cutlery. The task was to order them correctly to complete the very fancy French meal. This one being the 8th gem was coincidentally the final gem raid secrets needed to solve. After the rail fence cipher was suggested for gem 6, potential gem 8 solutions were narrowed down enough to be brute force to have the final order as shown. Now that we have our wheels, we can construct the cipher. Gem 1 having water, morning, woods, heart, wings, missive, wind, butterfly, rose, and all the others being put into place as well. We now are given the instructions on the landing pad near the Roman numerals clue. Faites tourner les roues de quatre grands vers l'avant, which translates to rotate the wheels four turns forward. Underneath are the starting positions of each of the eight wheels. We configure the wheels to these starting positions and rotate them four times to get our final solution. It was made clear from the other two puzzles that the solutions all involve standing on symbols while shooting others. Raid Secret's thought process when looking at this solution was to stand on symbols found on the floor, butterfly and morning, and shooting all other symbols until instructed to move. The final solution goes as follows. While standing on butterfly, shoot woods, then missive. Moving over to morning, shoot heart twice, woods, then wings. Now that we have Mayrin's vision, it allows us to interact with the final beacon. With all three activated, the screen near the forge illuminates, giving us a message in the Norse alphabet from before. Translating this gives us the following. With eyes fixed past dawn's end, the fourth flame will rise. Bring the knowledge obtained by the Raiders of Secrets. Steal thyself. Baguzi awaits. My name has been Zed. See you in the next one.